All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. Let me start by saying that when I first discovered that TEDx was coming to UB, I felt so proud to be an AB student. Now that we have a platform whereby all of us can gather each other in one place and discuss ideas worth spreading. So online collaborative, that's two thumbs up. Keep up the great work. All right, so today I'd like to introduce you to a rather new organization called World Medical School, WMS. First off, a few words about my history with AB. The place to be. So for those of you who don't know, I hold a Bachelor's of Science in Biology from AUB since 2011. And however, my history with AUB dates back far earlier than then. You see, my father, who's right there on my right, used to be a professor at this institution. And so accordingly, the whole family used to live on campus. And so every day, my dad would commute to work on foot, and my siblings and I would commute to school on foot. And thinking back to those days, you know, they were the best of times going to school, coming back to UB, not a care in the world, meeting up with my friends, and relaxing in the playground, doing what young kids do, etc. But at that time, what AB really represented to me was a home. It was my living place. But then the days came and went, and I found myself graduating from school and entering college. And wouldn't you know it, I entered AUB. And it was then really when I started to realize that AUB no longer just represented a home to me, but also represented a learning grounds, a place where I could be for a certain moment of time to gain a few more skills and aptitudes that are to help me in my journey in the future. And what I also realized is that it's not really the small details in our education that matter, so, for instance, it's not really the algebraic equations we learn in math class, or the scores of essays we write for different humanities courses, or even the countless numbers of facts that we memorize as part of human physiology, for instance, as part of biology class, and so on. But really what matters throughout our journey as undergrads at AUB is this value system that we tend to adopt and adapt to. And this value system, or collective wisdom, as I like to call it, is composed of certain values. And for different people, these can mean different things. For instance, it can mean the value of organization, the value of planning, of time management, of goal setting, the value of critical thinking, etc. But for me, really, in my personal experience, what I felt was the single most beneficial value for me was teamwork. No doubt. There is no substitute to teamwork. Two heads are most likely to always be better than one. Provided, of course, they are united. And so, one day, with this collective faith in mind, this collective wisdom, as I was walking back from class with my good friend, Hamadani, who is sitting amongst you in the audience, and there he is up on the screen. So we're walking towards his dormitory room, as we normally do, and he says to me, Rami, I have great news. And so he says, well, I found this organization online, and they're sort of geared towards helping us students better prepare ourselves for the Step 1 exam. And let me just pause here for a minute. For those of you who don't know what the Step 1 exam is, the Step 1 is very much one of those international standardized examinations that we medical students must pass through successfully in order to get to the next step, which in our case, of course, is residency. So it's really synonymous to the SATs that we also have to get through to get into college as undergrads. And so he says to me, they're, they're probably there to help us prepare for these step one examination. And so I thought, wow, that's fantastic. Let me go home and check it out myself. And so I did. I went home, I logged on to the website, www.worldmedicalschool.org, and what I then discovered was that this organization is not only geared towards helping students prepare themselves for the Step 1 exam, but rather it's really about creating a brand new medical school for the world in its entirety. 
And when, when I, the moment I discovered that, I felt myself, how can I say this? I froze for a second, and I felt a voice within say, genius. I mean, this is a great idea worth spreading. What you say? And so with that introduction, albeit long, I bet some of you are probably wondering, so what is World Medical School? What is it about? But before we answer that question, let's go ahead and answer it. So, we are a group of aspiring medical practitioners looking to make a difference in the world, to change the way we see medicine today, to revolutionize quality medical education for tomorrow. And so one of you might ask, well, why in the world would you go out or set out to fulfill such an ambitious goal? And while there are several answers to that question, I think a reasonable answer would be that certain people in certain parts of the world really do not have the means to invest in their education. Maybe neither the financial means nor the quality educational resources to do so. And don't get me wrong, well, medical school is not just about the privileged helping the underprivileged. Really, it's about this global community of volunteers who each in their own right strive to gain and provide mutual benefit to all other members of the organization through collaborating and producing your educational resources. And so, for instance, by that token, a medical student at Uganda, let's say, could through creating some sort of educational resource to help, for instance, an attending physician at New York City. And so you're getting the picture. So with that said, next question is, well, how are we going to go about doing that? And the answer to that is quite simple. Baby steps. Much like any other initiative, and in line with the ch famous Chinese proverb, journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And so these baby steps of ours sum up in services that we are working on to provide to the global community. And some of these services include, number one, videos. Videos that are informative in order to help students better familiarize themselves with the content that will be tested on in their exams. That's one. Two is flashcards. Flashcards that are aimed at consolidating information within these videos and outside, again, to help these students commit whatever they learn to memory. And finally, we also have question banks. And these are board-style, vignette-like, multiple-choice questions that are from the core of our services, again, to help students better test their theory and prepare them for the exams. And so with all that, the next question is, well, where are we in terms of the services? What have we accomplished? And well, so far, we have about 73 Step 2 board review videos with a total of 60,000 video views on YouTube approximately. We have more than a thousand flashcard questions and are currently working on a full board review question bank. We are in 130 countries, roughly speaking, and have 100 volunteers. More than 100 volunteers. And so these are Rather, relatively modest accomplishments, given the fact that the organization is yet to celebrate its first anniversary. And so with all that down, one might ask, alright, so where do we go from here? What are the goals? And our goals at WMS are manifold, but to state a few, one of our first goals, for instance, is to create full-fledged courses and board review programs and offer them to the global community at no cost. So that's goal one. Goal two, is to revolutionize, or I would say just redo the website, www.worldmedicalschool.org, and sort of have it become a conduit through which students and physicians can freely interact with one another and further each other's clinical knowledge. Which brings us to our third goal, which is establishing a continuing medical education center for WMS, which again is aimed at helping to further students' clinical know-how through, for instance, posting uh, articles, latest research findings, uh, case series, case reports, etc. Goal number four would be to try and form a global network of volunteers aimed at creating new and innovative technologies for furthering medical practice.
and healthcare around the world. And goal number five is quite ambitious, but one day we really hope for WMS to establish its own physical campus, its own premises. Because really in this industry of distance education that we're getting into, it is almost imperative for WMS to be thought of as a genuine brick and mortar college in the full sense of the term. And so those are the five goals. Now moving on, what is it that might draw students to become a part of this organization? Well, there are many reasons, a few of which I'll mention in whatever time we have left. First off, becoming a member of World Medical School offers one the opportunity at influencing global change. And I say global change because this is truly a global initiative we're discussing here. We are trying to build university for the world. Second of all, becoming a member of World Medical School offers one the invaluable opportunity of meeting and working with people from all walks of life. And there's really no telling what we can do when so much diversity is placed in one place and working towards one goal. And I'll bet those contacts will also come in handy for the vacation, right? It's good to have people to host you whenever you need them. Um, and another reason for why people might want to consider becoming a member of medical school is that it gives one the opportunity at medical entrepreneurship. And I say medical entrepreneurship because what it really boils down to is finding new innovative ways by which to disperse this vast amount of information to students. And last but most certainly not least, we think that becoming a member of World Medical School is vital for that ever faithful day when these students find themselves from behind or before a panel of interviewers at their program of choice for their residencies. And we instinctively believe as an organization that having down on the resumes work experience with WMS, or having stated that they have been part of WMS's global learning initiative, really says something about their character and sort of increases their odds on them being accepted. And that's just our take on things. And so hopefully, along with their scores and their performance and their rank, will help them nail that interview and hopefully get into the program of their choice and become the doctors they've always dreamed about. So, so far, let's recap. We talked about what World Medical School is, who we are at World Medical School, what services we offer, why we're building the medical school, where we are in terms of the services that we offer, what our goals are, and why one might like to give it a shot. Now, all of this begs the question, what makes World Medical School so different from the rest of the other organizations out there also providing courses that have been tried and tested and other educational resources, etc. Well, in a nutshell, whereas other organizations provide these resources at a set premium cost, we on the other hand at World Medical School provide them at zero cost. And whereas other organizations depend on the costly services of physicians, educators, and academicians, we on the other hand at World Medical School depend on the depend solely and principally on the sheer might and willpower of selfless volunteers. Because World Medical School is more than just a service. World Medical School is family. Think of it as an extended family. A family of physicians, attendings, medical students, interns, etc. A family that intrinsically believes that everyone has a right to an education and that no one should be held an exception in that regard. Thank you.